Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over Palea's 0.179 patch notes. So yeah, let's get right into it. At a glance, we get to know Azura, Zeki, Tish, and Reth better with their Friendship Level 5 quests. Add some fancy flourish to your housing plot with new courtyard building. Even more flowers are available to add to your home, Bahari Bay Edition. Feel that? It's all the freed up inventory space you'll get now that the ammo pouch is here. Check out new premium cosmetics, including the featured Shadow Stalker outfit. All right, let's get right into it. Over 50 achievements have been added to Steam. This is for all your you completionists out there. And yes, these do apply retroactively. The login screen and Killama Village have an updated look just in time for spring. Okay, uh, let's take a look at them. Okay, so it looks like they added like a trellis here in the background. It's kind of cool. Oh, I see. So around Killama Village, it looks like they added some extra uh, greenery everywhere. This is actually really nice. Okay. Friendship level 5 quests are now available for the following villagers, Azra, Zeki, Tish, and Reth. We know a lot of people are eager to learn more about the lovable cast of Palea. Their stories will continue and we plan to slowly add more over time. Naturally, you will need to reach friendship level 4 before you can proceed. Completing each quest will also grant an exclusive decor reward at the end of the quest line. Okay. So um, for those of you who don't know, when you hit level four friendship, you already get some kind of exclusive decor reward. So it looks like they're going to give a new ones when we hit level five. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I wonder what else they would add. Um, a new building is now available, the courtyard. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this so much. So if we look at this image here, um, I'm going to zoom in slightly. Whoops, there we go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I love, love, love this. So it looks like we have a nice little area now where we can put like all of our shrubbery and things in here. And oh, now that we can plant flowers, this is going to be really cool to work with. Um, it looks like you can also add some wallpapers potentially here. I'm looking at the uh, side panels here on the edge of the building. So if you can add wallpaper and change, I assume also change the color of this roof. Oh man, that's going to be really, really cool. I can already see people putting like little fountains and stuff. I'm going to have a fun time decorating with this thing. You can purchase it at the city hall store. Note, this is an add on, meaning it must be attached to other rooms and is not a standalone structure. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. The courtyard has four different configurations to create a variety of setups, stairs, Open with rail, open no rail, and solid. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to see how this works in game because the fact that it's not a standalone structure kind of sucks. Um, especially because I know that in a previous update, they've hinted at us getting kind of like a like sidewalk or like stepping stone, uh, stepping stones to like kind of, um, kind of, I guess in a way, accentuate the pathing in the yard. Um, not being able to make a stepping stone path to go to this building later kind of sucks like already in theory but i guess we'll have to see what it actually does so that's kind of an interesting uh thing i wonder why they decided to do that instead of what they did with like the pavilion or the gazebo for example where it's like a separate piece away from the building but you can put it still on the same property so i kind of wonder why they decided to go with that but it's kind of an interesting thing I can see this being something that people put in the backs of their houses or the sides of their houses, maybe. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, okay, Bahari Bay flowers have been added. Ooh, these are kind of pretty. These are actually really pretty. I like these. Okay. Insects in Bahari Bay now have a chance to drop flower seeds. The following items have been added. Trillium flower... Hematomes flower, cave cap flower, Bahari Senya, bluebell flower, Veronica flower, forget me not flower, Bahari nettle flower, fiddle frond flower, Datura flower. Hmm, okay. 
Meet Sil the Green Plush. Oh my god, they made it into a meme. <laughs> we were so inspired by the community reaction to a very visible bug that appeared in 177. This was an opportunity we couldn't pass up. There's no limit to how many you can get. So why not build a whole army of seal? Oh my god. Yeah, so I guess they named him Sil, but uh okay, so for those of you who don't know, um a few I think like last patch before this current patch, there was this bug where these random cylinders, these like green cylinders were just popping up in Bahari Bay and they would just sit there. And I think at some point I even like got footage in like one of my uh silent playthrough series where i just sat inside of it to see if i could hide in it because it was literally like you could walk through it it had no collision and it really just looked like a cylinder it was the weirdest thing i had ever seen in a game i mean okay maybe not the weirdest thing but it was pretty up there um <laughs> so the fact that they decided to add it as like a plush i think is actually pretty hilarious i love this so cute very kawaii all right here we go the new ammo pouch is now available. It's finally here. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, the Sil- I, I should have went over this, I'm sorry. The Sil Plush has a chance to appear in any Bahari Bay rummage pile, you know, as a homage to their origins. <laughs> okay, so we got to find them in the rummage pile. I'm going to be looking for that because I, I need to have this little guy. It's cute. The new ammo pouch is now available. It's finally here. Arrows, smoke bombs, and fishing bait will now appear in this tab. It can access you can access it from your inventory. When you first log in, any ammo in your inventory will move into the ammo pouch. Any ammo that cannot fit into the ammo pouch will automatically transfer to your storage. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like now your ammo isn't going to be in your inventory. Now it's going to move to your storage. I don't know about that. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that because if, well, currently you have to keep everything in your inventory, right? But if we have an ammo pouch, I mean, that's going to be awesome. But if we don't have enough space in our ammo pouch and it doesn't just spill over on into your inventory, then that means you have to go back to your house to go retrieve those things later. I mean, is that even possible? Can we even put them in our inventory anymore? I mean... I mean, knowing my luck, when I go fishing, for example, um, and I try to look for specific fish that are really hard to get, I mean, I could be sitting there for a while and going through a lot of worms. So I kind of wonder if now we're not going to be able to keep extra ones in our inventory, but I guess that's why they want you to upgrade your pack at Zeki's store. I just hope it's not as expensive as the upgrading of packs for like your general inventory because i remember that was kind of a, a, a steep climb for me when i first started out so i really hope that it's not that serious once you get in um but yeah i'll have to look into that interesting the ammo pouch starts with one row unlocked and you can expand more at the general store just like the backpack okay yeah so that's what i was just talking about it looks like it's going to be on the side here um so it looks like when you walk in you just turn left and it's going to be right there a tailor shop changing room has appeared in Bahari Bay. Even adventuring shouldn't stop you from looking fab. Just the little suitcase wouldn't do for gel, so he ordered a proper building in its place. This service acts just like a wardrobe and can be found by the central stables. Okay, interesting. Improvements and adjustments. The amount of friendship points granted from various quests relating to Azra, Zeki, Tish, and Reth have been balanced with the, new, with the addition of friendship level 5 quests. We will be sending compensation to those who have completed friendship level 4 quests as a result of this adjustment. Oh, nice. Okay. Criteria. Completed one or more of the following quests. A family matter, Azra. Bugs everywhere, Zeki. Make him sing, Tish. The heist wrath. Compensation. Citrine times two. Onyx and quartz. Okay. The map will now show a coordinate grid. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this has been a long requested feature and should help out with group play alongside Flare Arrows Disco Tier at D4. 
Okay, that's kind of interesting. So if Disco Deer is at D4, then that means they're somewhere in this area. That's kind of nice. Um, it's not as exact as I would have liked, but I think with flares in addition to this, we should be fine. I think this is probably sufficient. Temples will now have a dedicated map. Oh, thank God. <laughs> In an effort to help players navigate these special areas, you'll be able to see a custom map in each space. We specifically wanted to call out the Air Temple, which will also have icons for quest-related items. While our Palean cartographer was able to create maps for the Temples of the Flames, Gales, and Roots, the one of the Temple, uh, the one of the Temple of the Waves will be arriving with the next patch. Hmm, interesting. Okay. This is kind of nice. Um, I wonder if, well, okay, so something that confuses me about this, like, I wonder if you're going to be able to click on the individual islands, like maybe they light up when you hover over them or something, and then it gives you a more exact map, because if this is the map alone, like, I don't see a player icon. Like, I don't see anywhere, like, I see a bunch of egg locations and stuff, I guess, but I don't see any, like, in-depth map like it doesn't look like a regular map so i i really hope this isn't all we're getting um because i don't think this is as helpful as like something like the thing above like what you just saw so i guess we'll have to see um let's see brightness gamma settings are now available on pc yay pc controllers can now access the escape menu by pressing the pause button this can be rebound to the in the settings menu if you wish to change back to the previous default keybind inventory. Okay. There is now an unstuck button you can quickly access in menus. Honestly, I don't even know why this wasn't a thing already, but eh, I'll take it. Previously, the only option was to type it in, uh, type it out in chat, which we knew was a challenge, especially for Switch and controller users. This option should make it more accessible. Oh, okay. I see why. Okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Good. Um, we've made several improvements to help optimize Palea on lower spec PCs. There's a lot of small changes that come together, but overall it should feel nicer to play if you're on lower settings. Okay. Planted trees in the housing plot have been visually updated to no longer have the dirt mound around the base. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I like that. Air gusts in the Temple of Gales have been improved to better carry the player. That's good too. I got I fell a few times in a way that was just kind of silly, but you know it happens. Premium store updates. In case you missed it, you can now preview and purchase outfits straight from the wardrobe. We hope this addition makes it easier for folks to plan out outfits and pick out their best fit. All right. Well, that's cool. Three new outfit bundles have been added to the premium store available immediately. Bundle name Shadow Stalker. Okay, so it comes with a face mask and a one piece. Oh, so like kind of like ninja gear, I guess. Is this ninja gear or <laughs> I wonder. Uh, let's see. Corseted Caplet. Uh, village. Let's see. Outfit names. Uh, village Hearth, Gothic Tailoring and Modern Moves. Interesting. And uh, harness your power, flower power, astral projection, and ancient wisdom, top and bottom. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So it looks like they have a variety of prices here. Um, that's still, um, ouch, my wallet, but it, you know, that's besides the point. Featured outfit has this patch, sorry, the featured outfit for this patch is the Shadow Stalker. Live out your, oh, so I was right. Live out your ninja running dreams with this outfit because equipping the one piece will apply special effects to you uh, for when you idle and another when you run. Okay, what is the effect when you run? I'm trying to see what the difference is. Oh, there's a trail when you run. That's interesting. Huh, that's not what I expected. I thought we would get like a ninja run or something. That would have, I think that would have been cooler, to be honest. But I, I think the effects are okay too. Effects will vary based on each outfit. The harness, your power outfits will also be the first time we are offering an outfit 
at this lower price point. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not surprised. Um, they have to, like, it's one of those things where it's like, I kind of saw this coming. It's either like sink or swim at this point. And I think that if they weren't offering anything like cheaper than like the big bundles that they have now, then I think that, you know, this game would seriously continue to go down a path of uh, much resistance when it came to transactions. So I, I actually really like that they're trying to offer things at a lower price point. So that's definitely really good. For additional outfit bundles will be to the sorry four additional outfit bundles will be added to the premium store on may 9th okay um i really like this painter one that's actually really cute i love this okay let's see aristocrat promising painter and wrapped with bows okay so okay these are all really i think this is like actually let me see this is let's see 51 hundred twenty two fifty and 850 and then for this one, it's thirty-four hundred twenty-five fifty and seventeen hundred. Okay, interesting. That is interesting. Uh, okay, disclaimer. Please note that this is not a comprehensive list of all fi uh, all fixed issues. Okay. Gameplay: The Prodhorn Cernuk will now properly drop the correct plush at a rare chance. You can still obtain the order plush as a possible drop from Zeki's Wondrous Machine. Ooh, I have not been able to get that. So that's kind of interesting. Fix the occasional instances where the prompt to interact, such as speaking to villagers or reading a note would not do anything. I literally experienced that yesterday. <laughs> it happens all the time. I hope that's actually fixed. Switch only. Fix the occasional freezing that would occur when pressing B when a store window is open. That has also happened to me. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, I actually play on both Switch and PC. Um, I kind of go back and forth depending on what I'm doing at the time. But yeah, I, I've actually experienced uh, this bug as well. Maps and world. Fix some inconsistencies with fishable water in the Bahari Bay Statue Garden River area. Changing the field of view no longer incorrectly zooms the player camera in too close. Okay, yeah. So this, these two, I've both had have experience. Actually, I was recently fishing there and had that problem. So it's kind of interesting how that's here. Star quality, ancient cloud minnow, and ancient flow bug are now placed in main inventory, so they can be placed as decoration on the housing plot. Ooh. I kind of wonder why it says are now placed in main inventory. I thought that these were, um, I don't remember them being placed in like the quest tab. I could be wrong. Um, so that's kind of really, I don't know. I find this kind of an interesting, uh, note here. We'll see. Fix the climbable, uh, sorry, fix climbable areas and temple of the gales following recent climbing improvements. Yeah, this is huge. Um, the recent climbing improvements they've added to the game have been really, really good compared to what we had, like, a couple of patches ago. I mean, the climbing used to be such a hot mess. I couldn't even complete the Temple of the Gales. Uh, half, like, most of it was just unbearable because of this. But once they added those improvements, I was able to finish the temple and, you know, do all the quests. And I didn't get, you know, blocked uh, in progression anymore, which was great. So seeing that they've made further improvements is definitely really good. It seems to me that like Temple of the Gills seems to be the problem child of all of the temples right now. Um, all the other temples seem pretty straightforward. The Fire Temple was pretty straightforward. The, um, the Water Temple was pretty straightforward. But uh, this recent one, Temple of the Roots, has also been pretty straightforward. It hasn't been that bad, I think, compared to like Temple of the Gills. Um, I don't know if it's because of the nature of, you know, all the gliding and stuff or the fact that the area is so spread out between like three different islands, it feels like, or maybe it's four. I think it's three, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I, I find that kind of an interesting note here. Using bait in the cloud pools in the Temple of Gales now correctly catches ancient cloud minnows instead of other fish. Yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> Made additional corrections to fix players who are still stuck on silver winging it. Oh, yeah. 
If you find yourself still affected, please make sure to reach out to player support so we can investigate. All right. Top known issues. Disclaimer, please note this is not a comprehensive list of all the known issues. New to 0 0.179. Wow. So we already have top known issues for this patch and I haven't even logged in yet. Wow. Uh, <laughs> interesting. PC only. The buttons on the work table and campfire may appear off center. Okay, that's weird. When purchasing the ammo pouch, the message that shows you've unlocked it may appear repeatedly. This can be resolved by restarting the game. Oh my god. The idle effect for the Hextech Conjurer outfit has been temporarily modified as a workaround due to a bug. It will be fixed in the future. Okay. Other issues. Players will frequently get stuck while cooking, especially at the oven. Yeah, that has been a thing since I started playing the game. Straight up. Like, I, I don't know what causes it, but I think cooking, especially at the oven, has been one of the reasons why I'd have to use, like, Unstuck. Like, even in my silent playthrough series, if you guys remember some of the episodes of that, you'll see me use Unstuck to get out of, you know, animation with the oven or even with the stovetop sometimes. Um, I don't know what causes that, but whatever that bug is, it really should have been fixed by now because this is something that has been like a problem since like I started playing. So that's kind of that's kind of wild. Um, I don't know. Like I said, like I, I don't know what's causing the issue. So I guess I can't really judge as far as like whether or not this is something that's easy to fix. But considering how disruptive of an issue it is, I would think that it would have been something already solved like several patches in. But I guess we'll have to see. Hopefully this is something they'll get done soon. Switch only. Players may sometimes freeze and or crash while near Tamala's house in Bahari Bay. I have not experienced that, um, surprisingly enough. But to be fair, I haven't really gone near Tamala's house. I don't know what it is about Tamala's house, but it seems to cause all types of weird bugs and crashes for people. And it's just wild to me. I don't know. Planted trees may appear on different housing plots after they have grown. Okay. Um, what? Wait, what? Well, hold on. Planted trees may appear on different housing plots after they have grown. Should I be checking my other housing plots? That's kind of interesting. Players may occasionally be unable to connect to the game with the message unable to connect. Beacon client failed to connect. Uh, luckily I haven't experienced that, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so final thoughts on this patch i think that this patch has a lot of really good things to it i like that they're adding um the courtyard i think that's really cool nice little uh furniture item uh and it looks like you might be able to add some uh wallpapers and stuff to this so i can't wait to be messing around with that um the flowers in bahari bay are pretty much expected at this point considering we got the ones that kill them at first it makes sense I like the uh, the sill plush. I did not see this coming, but I gotta say, I, I do enjoy this. It's kind of funny. I wonder if they're going to do like other things like this for like other more like uh, meme worthy bugs in the game because this kind of, it's, I mean, at this point, they're just embracing the meme. It's pretty funny. Um, let's see, the new ammo pouch is now available. Okay, yeah, so the ammo pouch is probably the biggest change, I would say, to this patch. Um, it's going to definitely change how I approach uh, my inventory as a whole, as far as like what kinds of things I prioritize, what kinds of things I keep on me and what kinds of things I don't. Um, so hopefully this will give me a little bit more flexibility when I'm trying to choose uh, different stuff. But uh, yeah, not having them in your inventory, like if you wanted to carry extra on top of that, I guess it kind of makes sense because they want you to be incentivized to unlock uh, bigger and bigger packs. But I mean, yeah, we'll have to see. It might be an immediate nerf for some people at first, but I think that um, as we unlock these, depending on the cost, hopefully it's not too expensive. I really wish that they added the cost here so that we would at least have an idea what to expect, um, but that's okay. Um, I don't really know why you would want to have a, an outfit changer in Bahari Bay, but I mean, I guess some of us can't go out without the proper outfit, so I guess that's fair. Um, I think just adding to the story of these 
uh npcs is pretty cool um i think that's definitely a plus and uh yeah hopefully i i think the biggest things i'm looking forward to as a whole in this patch are definitely the ammo pouch and i'd say the updated map as well because yeah the courtyard is cool but i think that the updated map is necessary i think that that's something that um we've definitely needed for a while so uh you know it's good to finally see some of these long requested features popping up in the game I wonder if like maybe they're just reprioritizing certain things to try and improve the overall state of the game but this is I think definitely a step in the right direction for the most part when it comes to Palea so yeah what do you guys think of the patch notes what do you guys look forward to the most is there anything I didn't mention that you've noticed in the game if you've already logged in and uh, tried out the new patch uh yeah let me know in the comments uh let me know what you think uh for those of you who don't know my name is shiloh q i am a shiloh quaintly reaper and guide to the underworld i stream to twitch kick and youtube approximately three times a week usually on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays at five o'clock p.m pst it's not always at those times but if you're ever unsure and you want to stop in and say hello feel free to check out my youtube community tab that's where i post my weekly schedule on sundays so yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, Sholo out.